Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arun and in today's video I am going to talk about the procure to pay business process. If you find my content useful, then please give it a like and share it with your friends who might benefit from it as well. Now let us get into the topic. So what is procure to pay? A procure to pay business process is a series of steps and activities that are involved in purchasing goods and services and paying for them. The P2P process typically involves the following steps. The first one is to identify the need for goods or services. This might involve conducting a needs assessment, analyzing business requirements or identifying opportunities for cost savings. Develop a procurement plan. Once the need for goods or services has been identified, the next step is to develop a procurement plan. This might involve identifying potential suppliers, evaluating their capabilities and determining the best procurement approach. Issue a request for proposal RFP. After the procurement plan has been developed, the next step is to issue a request for proposal, also known as RFP, in order to identify the potential suppliers. The RFP typically includes detailed information about the goods or services that are being requested, as well as the criteria that will be used to evaluate proposals from suppliers. Evaluate proposals and select a supplier. After proposals have been received from the suppliers, the next step is to evaluate them and select a supplier. This might involve conducting interviews, reviewing references and comparing proposals to determine the best supplier based on the criteria outlined in the RFP. Place the order. Once a supplier has been selected, the next step is to place the order. This typically involves negotiating the terms and conditions of the purchase, including the price, delivery schedule and payment terms. Receive and inspect the goods or services. After the order has been placed, the next step is to receive and inspect the goods or services. This might involve coordinating with the supplier to ensure that the goods or services are delivered on time and as specified in the purchase order. Process the invoice. After the goods or services has been received, the next step is to process the invoice. This might involve verifying the invoice matches the purchase order, reconciling any discrepancies and obtaining approval for payment. And finally make the payment. The final step is to make the payment. This might involve issuing a check, transferring funds electronically or using a procurement card. Overall, the procure to pay process involves a series of steps and activities that are involved in purchasing goods and services and paying for them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon in another video.